Hello and welcome back. It's been quite a while since we've done one of these, but guess what guys? It's Project Vuperia, and things are very different this time around. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. Things actually look pretty great right now. There's a little bit of uh, pixelation back there, but I just have to turn anti-aliasing back on. Um, it was disabled because I was messing around with some transparency. Um, but... If you can't tell, things look realistic and blended and wonderful. So, let me show off what I've spent now, like, half of my vacation working on. Um, so, no, it's not just grass. I've got triplanar shading um, working. If I can actually find a bit, I can break. Yeah, I kind of broke the breaking script by changing so much. So, it's going to throw out some errors because it doesn't know what to put into my inventory. But ignore that so if we dig into the ground it's going to go from grassy to a little bit more dirt because we're getting deeper and closer and now as we get closer and closer to the bottom we can see that it's getting thicker and thicker dirt so there we are for that now it's basically all dirt and now if we go a bit lower, we can see some stones sticking through. Now if we go through there, we should get to very clear stone. Although that may be challenging to do because the break script is so broken. It's meant for blocks. It was not ready for this. That's fine though. I think you guys can get the point from this. We'll find a part where we can dig a little bit deeper in a second. Let's explore and see if we can find any real mountains. Although... Biomes are pretty big right now for testing reasons. Uh, I still have to do some modifications to how noise works. Uh, and I'm actually going to move it from the GP to the CPU, which may seem like it's going in the wrong direction. Um, but actually, this is running at about 250 to 500 FPS. So I think I do actually have enough room to fit it onto the CPU because CPU noise is a lot more reliable and it creates a lot less garbage. The only issue with this right now is RAM allocation, which I've gotten down 95%, so I am not doing terribly on that either, but um, the terrain generation is lightning fast right now, which makes me very happy. Uh, we've got pretty much flawless uh, blending between the different materials right now. That was my latest struggle. And as you can see, it's just going to generate infinitely for us. And it's going to get rid of the chunks as we leave. So let's go ahead and look for some different kinds of terrain. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, things are pretty bland right now. Because I've been working on the terrain, not the detail. Oh, so here we can see a transition between two biomes and look how smooth that is that makes me so happy compared to well first the block solution and then the starter to uh, terrain solution this is just across the board better looking it's it's much nicer than anything that i had before and we can see it's kind of bumpy if we go a bit lower the biome changes again it goes from kind of just desert to rocky desert and now we can see some stone protruding and if we dig down a little bit we'll get to a little bit more stone there we go it's working now the dig script because it's at the location it likes i can really find the corners of the voxels oh i say that and then and then two seconds later i'm having trouble with it again Yep, next thing on the list to do. Actually, that's not the next thing on the list to do. Uh, I could I could honestly care less about the digging until uh, I get the terrain generation perfect. But it's on the list to do. There's still a few weird things with the shader where you can probably see it's stretching the texture a little bit. But overall, there we are. There's the stone. Um, Things are looking pretty good. And with the way I'm doing this, I found a way to basically pack infinite textures um, into this shader. But while only using the memory impact of six textures, it took a little bit of engineering to get working. But it's pretty exciting stuff. There we are. That's a nice mountain. 
So we can see the dirt mixing in with the stone, mixing in with the grass. Uh, we can especially see down there, um, we, can, we can really see the change from grass to sand because that's sea level right there. So under here would all be ocean. But I think it looks pretty good. And watch this. If I go low. Now the water effect is called because technically my head is in the water. It's just not building the mesh for it. Um, yeah. But overall these uh, new shaders mean that things look a whole lot more fancy. And when I don't have massive garbage collections, like I said before, um, things look pretty great.